But then I think of Chaplin and Monroe and Argo and Fargo or when Marty made his car go back in time at the mall. Neil Patrick Harris takes his hosting skills to the 87th Annual Academy Awards and absolutely slayed possibly the most epic opening monologue the Oscar stage has ever seen. Today's newsfeed is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to Clever's Trophy Life, where we're bringing you all of the highlights from Hollywood's biggest night, it's the Oscars. So, you guys, this opening monologue was pretty much a show in itself. So, never before has the Oscars done anything on the level of epic as they did in this year's opening. So, it all began with Neil center stage making a joke about the level of pasty in the audience and the nominated categories by welcoming everyone to quote, Hollywood's brightest and whitest night. After some uncomfortable readjusting in the audience, Neil moved on to kicking off the show in the best way the Tony winner knows how, of course with a song. The tune was filled with jokes about Twitter, a possible Kanye Oscar incident, alcoholism within Hollywood, and Cumberbatch tossing back a flask. Now pretty laugh out loud if you ask me, but right after that is when the magic really went down. Literally, Disney was barfed onto the stage. All of a sudden, a spotlight illuminated Neil that created a shadow behind him, and then the shadow began to pull birds out of a hat, followed by a cane, and before you knew it, Neil's shadow was full on Gene Kelly in Singing in the Rain. And if that wasn't cool enough, the shadow illusion wasn't even the best part. Okay, they even had holograms. They had Marilyn Monroe up there, Charlie Chaplin, and then Neil was shown in some pre film segments that made it seem as though he was in the movies. And just as Neil made his way through the Into the Woods segment, hold up, okay, wait a minute, who comes out? Um, of course, Into the Woods' own Anna Kendrick. And I can't even with how perfect this was. Neil and Cinder Anna then treated us with a duet before Jack Black came up and ambushed the song uh, from the audience, which was planned, of course. But you know, he sang too and was hilarious as usual especially when Anna threw her Cinderella shoe at him. Ah, okay, so then the stage door rose behind them, revealing an army of dancers dressed as classic characters from the movies over the years, including Stormtroopers, Trojans, and various other cinematic favorites. It was kind of the Les Mis march mixed with the Universal Studios, and it totally got all up in my fills. Okay, so this epic hologram guest star mashup ended with all of the characters lining up behind Neil in single file, creating the illusion that Neil's shadow was indeed an Oscar. So, you guys, the special effects were so 2015, it's actually insane. So, the future is definitely here. But, you know, I have to know what you thought of Neil's epic opening monologue. Well, you gotta sound off in the comments section right below, and don't forget to subscribe to Clever News if you got a minute, because you know that'd be super fancy. And if you've missed any of the award show content, you can click right over here to the X1 Entertainment Operating System from Xfinity to find out how how to never miss a show again. And of course, you gotta keep it right here with Clever's Trophy Life for all of the Oscar moments you won't wanna miss. I'm Ryland Adams, and I'll see you soon. And I know you can't get enough of the Oscars coverage, so you can click over to the left to get Neil Patrick Harris's best moments, or over to the right for a winner's recap. Do it, do it.